We're here today on this beautiful trail, Bell Trail in Sedona. I am Stan Bindell for Preserving Arizona Wilderness. Join me as we go on this journey of hiking and environmental protection. Today we are at Wet Beaver Wilderness near Sedona. This is one of my favorites because of the perennial flowing water. There are four trails in the Beaver Creek Wilderness, including the Apache Maid, White Mesa, Bell, and Weir Trails. Bell Trail is my favorite because of the water. Some of the West Clear Creek stream can also be viewed on the Weir Trail with more serenity as less people use the side trail. The trail is easily accessed by sedans. Dogs are allowed, but must be leashed. The U.S. Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management, and National Park Service are mandated to protect these wilderness areas. The Forest Service is actually in charge of this one. Other groups like the Arizona Wilderness Coalition and Sierra Club protect them as well. These areas are worth preserving for the beauty they behold, including the landscapes, animals, and birds. But the question remains, what would happen to these lands if they were not protected? The trail was named after Charles Bell, who was a rancher here in the 1930s. Think of what life was like here back then. We're at the Bell Trail, and this gives us the sign so we know we're still on it. One of the side trails took us down to this beautiful creek. Just took a couple minutes. That's one of the reasons that so many people, including myself, love this eight mile hike. And it's one of Arizona Highway's top 52 hikes. We are three miles from the crack. The crack is the highlight of this trip. And when we get there, you'll see why. This is the White Mesa Trail. It is just off the Bell Trail. If you want a good mountain workout trail, this is for you. No water on it though, so that's why we're sticking to Bell Trail. This is the Apache Made Trail, which is another trail that leads into the West Clear Creek Wilderness. The Wet Beaver Creek Wilderness Area was established in 1984 and covers 6,000 acres. The wildlife here at Wet Beaver Creek include deer, elk, brown bear, mountain lion, and javelina. A wide array of birds, reptiles, and bullfrogs also live here, including rattlesnakes. So remember to tread lightly and respect their home. Okay, most hikers come three and a half miles into the crack. It's a natural pool of water, and college students are here on their spring break enjoying it. Wet Beaver Creek has a great flow through this area, making for a wonderful riparian area. Visitors use the crack to swim, dive, fish, and sun themselves when it's warm enough. This area is so busy during the summer that they have an overflow parking lot. Due to this high use, it's important to stay on the official trails and pack out all your trash so others can enjoy this popular destination as it should be. The lesser known gem of the Wet Weaver Creek Wilderness is the Wear Trail. Hikers can find the Wear Trail 2.7 miles down the Bell Trail where the wilderness sign is located. The Wear Trail is only one and a half miles round trip and it's well worth the detour as it descends down to the creek. Sitting just above this U.S. Geological Survey station device, which measures the stream flow. There are all kinds of native trees here. Sycamores, cottonwoods, Arizona black walnut and ash, and some of them are just towering. If you're looking for solitude, this is the place to get it, on the Ware Trail. As a matter of fact, I think I'll take a nap right now. So I'm asking you to join me as we go on this adventure to preserve Arizona's 90 wilderness areas. I am Stan Bindell for Preserving Arizona Wilderness.